Hi, I'm Don from Don Drones On. Welcome to Module 3 of Don's Drone Rules. This is my proposal for a comprehensive set of practical rules, globally applicable and sensibly balanced. If you haven't already done so, I strongly encourage you to watch my introductory video. There's a link in the top corner there. Otherwise, you'll probably be confused about what I'm talking about. In this module, I'm going to talk about proximity to people. Let's get into it. A quick reminder that these proposed rules are for discussion purposes only. They're not real. Please understand and follow the real regulations for your country. Proximity to people is the third of the four modules of Don's Drone Rules. And in this module, we're going to cover some general definitions and general rules about flying in proximity to people, some specific restrictions, and then the special case of congregations of people. Just as an aside, if we applied the same level of risk aversion to cars and trucks as we do with drones and drone rules, we would never, ever allow cars to be driving on the same roadway as people on sidewalks. That would be just incredibly unsafe. My point being, let's apply some balance, common sense, and not get too carried away with the proximity to people um, concerns. With that said, let's get into my rules. Flying a drone in proximity to people is restricted due to the risk of injury to bystanders. A bystander is anyone who is not directly involved in the drone operation and who has not accepted the risk. The following people are not bystanders. The pilot in command, the visual observer if there is one, and any other flight crew who are involved in the drone operation directly, and any people who are participating in the event who are aware of the drone operation and have accepted the risk. The bottom line is that drones must not be flown in a manner that harasses people or puts people at risk of injury. My specific recommendations for restrictions for flying drones in proximity to people are as follows. Pilots with their basic pilot certificate flying drones over 250 grams must stay 15 meters horizontally away from bystanders. They may fly closer or even over people who are directly involved in the operation and refer to the definition that we just went through. Now, pilots with advanced or professional certification or anyone flying a drone less than 250 grams may fly close to or over bystanders as long as they do not harass people or put people at risk of injury. Basically, as long as they don't do anything stupid. Now, there is one exception, and we're going to get into more detail on the next slide. The exception is this. Permission is required to fly in a temporary restriction zone that might be placed around pre-planned congregations of people, such as concerts, parades, or sporting events. Now, let's get into that one. Congregations of people may require additional safety rules because there's more people packed into the same place, so the risk of injury in the event of an accident is higher. So here's my recommendation. Organizers of pre-planned events, such as concerts, parades, or sporting events, may request a temporary restriction around the event. Temporary restrictions must be requested in advance by the event organizer and be approved by the Airspace Regulatory Agency. The temporary restriction will be defined in terms of a location perimeter, so where, where the event is taking place, and a start and end time frame. The Airspace Regulatory Agency is required to define a pre-planned temporary restriction zone electronically, such that drone control software and other apps can freely access this data and restrict drone operations appropriately and automatically. All drones, including those less than 250 grams, must stay outside the defined perimeter of such a temp temporary restriction zone, unless granted permission by the event organizer. And I want to emphasize this includes drones less than 250 grams. That's it, that's all. Some general definitions, some restrictions, and some special rules around congregations of people. 
The next and last module in this series is number four, operating rules. And in that module, I'm going to introduce my replacement for that old chestnut visual line of sight. <sighs> See you in the next one. Don's Drone Rules, my proposal for a comprehensive set of practical rules, globally applicable and sensibly balanced. See you in the next video.